Hello everyone, my name is Mengs, and today we're gonna be playing a bit of Civilization V, A Brave New World. Yes, I've wanted to do a video of this game on my channel for quite some time. It is a game that I am enjoying the hell out of, and I am a sucker for turn-based strategy games. So I thought I'd start off playing as my favorite civilization, the Arabians. So, yes, the Arabian Empire are really powerful. They get a lot of gold. They have one of the best unique buildings in the game, in the bazaar, which gives you tons of free copies of luxuries that you can trade. And they also have camel archers, which can really win you games if used correctly. So the difficulty I'm playing on is Immortal, so it's uh, one step below DT. I am not quite on uh, Marbasir level, so I can't uh, attempt to take on a DT uh, game just yet. If you want to watch some really good Civilization games, by the way, you should head over to Marbasir's channel. I am going to throw a link to his channel in the video description. He's a, he's a great inspiration to me. He's a really good Let's Player. You should check his uh, channel out. But uh, right now, I'm going to be making a Let's Play myself. So let's jump into it, shall we? Now, I'm actually playing on quick game speed. And the reason behind that is that I, uh, I want an action-packed episode. Uh, normally, I like to play on standard or epic, sometimes even marathon, but... I thought it'd be cool if this game doesn't just consist of me building a water mill, so... Let's start by exploring a little bit. Let's find our first city. This is a nice location. It has some desert. Arabia usually starts out in the desert. We start off with a scout, and... My first research is always pottery. I actually have it on multiplayer auto-end, which is actually... Or single-player auto-end, which I actually do not like. So, I'm gonna go grab those ruins. Arabia usually starts out in the desert. Um, they do get double the amount of oil, which is seldom something that I find useful. Oh, hello. We've already met our first neighbor, that being Napoleon. And we found some weapons, so we now have spearmen. That's pretty powerful. I don't know how, how close Napoleon is. But if he's really close, then we might have ourselves an early war. So as I was saying, the double oil doesn't really... Uh, you don't really feel it all that much. But... Um, the bazaar that gives extra gold from gold from oil is pretty powerful, so... Alright, he's actually really close. So we will probably have ourselves an early war. Either that or we have a ourselves a good trading partner. It depends how aggressive I want to be. I like to be aggressive, but I like to wait until I get the camel archers. Alright, here's our second neighbor. Polynesia. Kamahamahamahamahama, as I call him. Alright. So we can already see Napoleon's borders over there. We should probably go scout him out. So in Immortal, the computer gets substantial bonuses. Here's Iris, their cultured city-state, right below me. So I'm pretty boxed in, it would appear. So yeah, I like to wait until I get Camel Archers, because they are just so damn powerful. And I like to, with my gold, I like to purchase a bunch of horsemen and then upgrade them to Camel Archer just as I get Chivalry and then attack. Alright, so it looks like we got ourselves a mountain range over there. And Paris is like right next to me. <laughs> that could be pretty interesting. Okay. For our second tack, we need mining to get the salt as well as the gems. So I think we will go for that. Uh, a pantheon has been founded already. I would like to go for a pantheon myself and an early religion because with Arabia you can spread your religion via trade routes pretty fast. So, okay, I think I'm gonna send my scouts. Okay, we'll send them here. See if there's any ruins. That's actually a pretty decent expand location right here. We have marble, we have wheat, and we have incense. But I'm pretty sure that that location is going to get sniped by Le France. Ha <laughs> ha. 90 gold from the ruins. That means we could probably get ourselves an archer. Uh, or maybe even a warrior. Do we want to get ourselves a second scout or a warrior? Nah, I think we're going to save the gold. I could buy myself a worker maybe. Uh, the computer often asks you to sell embassies. I don't really want that because I actually don't want him to know where my capital is. He might have discovered it already. But if he doesn't know where your capital is, he, it's less likely that he will go to war against you. Here's Mount Sinai, a natural wonder. And I'm gonna get myself a shrine. Let's see, I am currently working both salt tiles, which is pretty good. Salt is a good tile. Two food, one production, and one gold. Here's Lhasa, a religious city-state. I don't really care a whole lot about them. They do give you faith, though, which is required for your pantheon. 
Now an Immortal, going for early Wonder is pretty much just doesn't work. Um, you can try, but the chances of you getting the Wonder are close to zero. So it's just a lot of wasted time, to be quite honest. But I'm gonna go for an early library because on Immortal and Deity, you are behind by design. The computer will always be ahead of you, and your job is simply to catch up. And if you neglect buildings like the library and the university, you're gonna fall so far behind on tech, you are just going to be get eclipsed, pretty much. Okay, so let's put a point in Tradition. That's going to give us three culture per turn. Combined with the Monument, that's going to give us a lot of early game policies really quickly. And I'm actually quite tempted to get myself a second scout, but it looks like I've reached the end right here. I think this is the um, the western coast. West coast, yo. Okay. I think I should actually go to war with Napoleon early on and try to take his capital. That actually wouldn't be bad. Okay. We have ourselves our pantheon right now, and I have a hunch that desert folklore is going to be... Uh, Either Desert Folklore or Sun God. Let's see, we're Sun God. Banana, Citrus, and Wheat. Now, what's the Salt one? I know there's a uh, there's a one for Salt. Because I do have a lot of that. Uh, let's see here, yeah. One Faith for each Copper, Iron, and Salt. I haven't revealed Iron yet, so I don't know how much Iron I have. But that's only one Faith. And if I, if I grab Desert Folklore, I'm going to get so much faith. So yeah, let's find Desert Folklore. Where is it? There we go. One faith from Desert Tiles. That's going... It, it, doesn't, it does also count Floodplains, which is amazing, because I have a lot of Floodplains. That's going to give me a lot of early game faith. Okay, I think I'm going to start on my Worker right now. I could actually buy one. That might be better. I could... Actually, purchase. I could train another scout and I could buy a, war a worker for the gold I've accumulated. So I think that actually might be a good idea and I can start working on the salt. So with a bazaar, I'm going to get three extra copies of salt, which I could use to sell. There are six other civilizations. Actually, there are five other civilizations. So that won't really be needed, but hey, every little bit helps. Okay, we're going to grab legalism, which is going to give us a free amphitheater. Right here? Actually, no, it's not. It's going to give us monuments in our next cities. It works a little bit differently now. But I, the reason why I want to train a second scout is because I want to scout to the east here to see if there's any more neighbors. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, that's, it's just a Polynesian scout. However, he has most likely grabbed all the ruins. Oh! And as I say that, a ruin appears. Okay. Alright. Uh, I might actually go for a settler right away. I could position my scout here to make sure uh, Napoleon doesn't get it, because I see a pretty darn good expansion right here. There's incense, there's marble, and there's wheat. Of course, that's going to piss um, piss uh, Napoleon off big time. But a war with him is pretty inevitable anyway, so I might as well just grab a good city while I can. And box him in. This is also not a terrible location right over here by the river. There is spice, and there is incense. I could grab this location before the computer does. This will gr give me wheat, but that will also piss off Polynesia, which is also a really close neighbor. I, no matter what I do, I'm going to piss off AI, so... But I'm going to keep a close eye on Paris to, s to make sure no settler gets over here. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring here. I could actually grab that encampment. Anyway, and I should really redo my assignments here, because... You want to uh, get as much production as possible when you build a settler. So I'm going to work all the hill tiles. Uh, like this. This is good. Nine. So I can get the settler in seven turns. That's pretty powerful. And I actually got the ruins. Wow. Thirteen culture. Thank you. I'll grab that. Uh, I kind of want to reveal horses and iron. You always want to reveal resources as quickly as possible. Because, uh, oh, there's a settler right there. I should really try to block that. What's going on here? I'm getting attacked. Alright. That's fine. Not really sure if I'm going to bother with that encampment. Yeah, I'm going to try to block his settler from moving out. Because he, he most likely wants to grab the expan expansion. And I don't want him to. Another ruin? What have the scouts been doing over here? So I want to expand uh, on this tile right 
here, I think. Or maybe, yeah, one, two. Actually, one to grab. Now, this wheat will be grabbed by Mecca, so that's fine. All right. Um, maybe this will... I'm not really sure where he plans to settle that city. Well, I got animal husbandry for that. Let's, uh, I could grab a worker, but I don't think that's really a big issue. I don't want Belgrade to get pissed off. Uh, next, let's reveal Iron. I'm really curious to see where that settler is going. Now he wants an embassy. I guess I can give him an embassy. It's not really any reason not to. But I don't like where that settler is going. This is going to be a war. Okay, we have a po another policy. We can grab landed elite, which is going to give us a lot of growth in our capital. Of course, we're not going to feel that right away because the settler is being constructed. Now, as a general rule, you actually want to wait until four population before you start your settler. Uh, the reason behind that is that it just usually just. Uh, it means that the settler will be produced quicker. Oh my god, he just settled or Orleans right there. Okay, yeah, this will be a war. There's pretty much no denying that. This is actually not a bad location either, right here with the gems. Lots of jungle. Okay, I'll bring my spearmen back. I have a feeling I'm going to be needing them very soon. So... I'm afraid uh, Polynesia might grab this location though, so I'm going to move my scouts over to the hill there. I also don't want the city-state to expand and grab the incense. Uh, he's attacking my scouts, alright. I'll just retreat for now. We need the spearmen back. Thanks for the ruins, that's a map, that's not really going to help me all that much. I'm going to move the spearmen down here. Uh, after I complete my settler, I think I'm gonna go for a library, and then I'm gonna rush for math 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 mathematics, and I'm probably going to lay siege to this city right here. Alright, not a lot of things happening over here. But our settler is done, and that's good. I don't think he's going to bring a second settler so soon. But this is immortal, so you never know. The computer gets ridiculous bonuses to production, growth, science, everything, really. You're playing with a huge handicap. Alright, our settler is done. That means we can reassign our tiles. Let's just reset our tiles. This seems pretty good. They want to work all the salt resources, which is okay. It's weird that nobody has completed the Great Library yet, but it would be pretty foolish to go for that. I mean, I could eat, end up eating my own words. Another ruin that they haven't grabbed. Huh. Well, it's going to get taken now, though. But you can bet your ass that the Great Library is going to be completed any moment now. He wants salt, but I don't really want to give him salt. I don't think anyone can afford... Uh, nope. I want 7 gold per turn for a land. You can get up to 7 gold per turn. Even more if you have a declaration of friendship. But you're not going to get that that early, so... Okay. Let's grab another salt, I suppose. I mean, surely there has to be some AIs with enough money to buy that. I still haven't found anyone else but Napoleon. Another Pantheon has been founded, that was Polynesia. Range combat strength, actually. I'm glad that France did not get that, because that would have made their cities a hell of a lot more difficult to take. Alright, so I want to grab... I don't think I can settle on top of an oasis. I'm pretty sure I can't. If not, then I want to settle right right next to it, because that's going to give me... Yeah, it's going to give me marble. One, two, three. You can pretty much get any tile that's within three, three tiles of your city. Let's grab archery. Actually, let's grab calendar first, because we need that to improve some resources. Alright, this is a very bulky map, this. A lot of uneven ground. I'm pretty sure I cannot settle on top of an oasis. And we just met the Celts! Hello! Do you want embassy? Sure you do. So where are you? She's all the way down there, okay. 
So she's pretty far away. So there's an encampment there that I would like to kill. What's going on here? Ah, barbarians in the mountains. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Uh, you can actually settle on top of an oasis. Huh. You know, that wouldn't actually be that bad. Because the oasis gives a lot of food, and it's not like you can improve it anyway. Huh. It's next next to a desert, so I'm gonna get uh, the solar plants. I actually think I'm gonna settle on top of the oasis. Uh, and then I'm gonna buy... Okay, I can't buy this tile just yet. I really want the marble. Okay, a barbarian encampment is blocking the way, so we can't do anything about that. Uh, what do I want here? I think I want the library, actually. Alright, is the encampment gone? I think it is. If she wants to buy salt. Nope. I don't really want that. I can get seven gold per turn for that, but they, they don't have that much yet, so there's no point in me going for those kind of trades. However, you can bet your ass that Napoleon is going to declare war on me sooner or later, so I might as well start gearing up for war. Well, we can't do anything here. Might as well send our scout, scout north to see if there's any other AIs up here. I don't think so, though. I see Tundra, so that means we're pretty far north. Still nobody has completed the Great Library. I could actually have gotten that if I wanted to, but it's too late now. Alright, I'm going to get myself a barracks because I'm going to start building units. I'm going to build... I need some more gold, though. I'm going to need to get mathematics as well as construction, I think. Again, these barbarians just won't let me be. It's actually very annoying. Alright. Okay, so we can't go here either. Okay. That's too bad. Okay, so the Celts ended up grabbing the Great Library. That's fine. As long as Napoleon doesn't get that, then I'm completely happy. So the question is, do we want to grab so a point into it. honor? That might not be a terrible idea. It's going to help our war out a lot. Okay, I think I'm just going to fortify these scouts up a little bit. Uh, we need archery if we're going to win any wars. We also need to scout. There might be some ruins up there that could help us. So, And our barracks will be soon done. So that's going to help out our land unit production quite a bit. I might get a bunch of archers. I'm not sure yet. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of things going up here. We need monarchy though. Monarchy is pretty important because that's going to give us the extra gold we need. I am afraid that Napoleon is going to grab this tile. I might have to buy a tile. Uh, it's going to... In one turn I'm going to get this tile naturally and then I could buy the border. So I think, yeah, I'm actually going to do that, because I don't want him to get the tile. Alright, I now have three salts. I can... I should probably go grab the iron. And if I grab Stonehenge, I'm almost guaranteed a religion, so I think I might do that. Let's go for the wheel. We could get... Nah, chariot archers are kind of bad, actually. Okay. So I don't think there's any anything happening to the north. Maybe we should switch Mecca over to production, production. Production, production. Let's see, we will be able to get the Stonehenge. It's not going to make a difference, actually. Anyway, let's grab the iron. Some swordsmen would be nice. And look at this. Huh. Look at this tile right here. One, two, three, four. I could actually grab the city right here. Whales, three sheep and fish. A mountain and a river. And stone. That's almost too darn good to be true, right there. Look at that. That's a pretty darn good location, right there. I'm actually tempted to grab that before I go to war. Wisdom That's almost too good not to have. That's gonna enable me to trade by sea as well. Although Arabia does get increase in land trade routes. Okay, let's go for mathematics. Uh, we should probably grab a barracks in Medina. I think I need to go to war though. I can't delay the war any longer. Um, I need catapults, and I need swordsmen. That's what I need. See, I'm gonna get six iron from this tile right here. That's a city-state. 
I'm in no danger of anyone grabbing this location just yet. Okay, Napoleon got Stonehenge. Okay, well, that's gonna give me some gold at least. 49 gold. Alright, so it's time to... Let's see... Do I want a watermill first? No, I think I need some archers. Let's see, he shouldn't be that far ahead of me. Let's go to demographics. Uh, the Celts are the best, and I have... I'm number five when it comes to literacy. Statue of Zeus. I would actually have liked that. Uh, that actually helps out a lot. But it's fine. Okay, so I need gold, though. If I'm gonna go to er go to war early, I need a lot of gold. That's going to be pretty tricky. Okay, these warriors just won't give up, so I'm probably just gonna have to kill them. Some experience on my scouts is always nice. Alright, let's grab some spearmen. Uh, let's see, Orleans is mostly on... I think I'm gonna grab accuracy. Let's see, let's scout a little bit around here. Also... Uh, I don't want to open any trades with him, but maybe Polynesia might be interested. Okay, now they have 7 gold per turn, which is what I want for the salt. Perfect. Then we'll talk to the Celts. Maybe they're interested in trading. No, they're not interested in that. They don't have enough gold. Not unless I become friends with them, which they are not interested in. Okay, never mind them. I'll go ahead and grab that wheat tile, I think. Actually, I should grab the horses. I need the strategic resources. He wants to be friends with me. Sure, I can actually become friends with him. I don't mind that. That means I can get uh, a lot of gold from him. Selling salt. If I could take Paris very early on, that's going to be a pretty big boost. It's going to make this game significantly easier for me. Alright, I'm just going to destroy these guys now. Um, let's check out his army, shall we? I don't want to move units too close to his borders just yet, but I would actually like to buy this tile right here. You may think, why do you want to buy this tile right here? Because I want to position a catapult right here. I don't want to make him suspicious. Uh, if you if you move too many units over to the border, he will start to question you. So you don't want that. But if I can position a catapult right there... Okay, he doesn't like that. Uh, our apologies. I'll just say sorry. I don't want to piss him off any more than necessary. Okay, he just built another settler. Uh, I'm afraid he's going to try to grab this location right here. So I'm going to attempt to block that. Anyway, and I can start building catapults. I will need at least two catapults, I think. Let's uh, switch over to production focus. And let's... Actually, let's grab the wheat first. Uh, spearman. Let's grab drill. Okay. Scout is nearly dead. Let's try to heal it up a little bit. Now we need to go for iron working so we can get swordsman. Swordsman, archers, and catapults is what you need to win an early game war. Some spare men to counter enemy horsemen. The problem is, though, I'm not sure what I'm sh what I should do with Orleans. I'm not sure if I should. Uh, not really sure if I should uh, burn it to the ground or take it. It doesn't really have any luxuries. It has salt, but I already have a bunch of salt. I'm not sure. I might race it. I think I will. It's not. It's just not that great. So, it looks like the Barbarians are giving him some trouble, which is really good for me. I might just go and improve the marble. That could actually work. Hmm, 39 turns. That's not great, actually. Okay, let's grab Accuracy. And we should probably grab another catapult. I remember when catapults used to cost iron. That was very annoying. They changed that. So I think I want to complete my tradition tree. Tradition is pretty much the best thing you can go for early game. Uh, it really is the best policy opener in the game. Uh, every single tree that you get in tradition is worth it. So that's why it's so darn good. Alright, let's grab the horses. 
And let's just scout around. I don't see a lot of units near Paris, but it could be that he's just hiding them. I know Napoleon is not really a, an extremely aggressive AI in the opening. He usually goes to war when he gets musketeers. And that, that's probably when he's at his most dangerous. But then again, this is immortal, so it is pretty hard to go to war here. Hanging Gardens, that's one wonder I do not have the time to build right now. And I don't want to do anything with these barbarians, because they are probably harassing Napoleon way more than they're harassing me. Okay, so... I can move my catapult in right here on this tile, and I could start bombarding him the same turn that I go to war with him. But I need some more swordsmen first. I have two spearmen, an archer, and two catapults, but I need probably at least two more swordsmen. So I'm going to send the catapult over here. I don't want to reveal my catapults to him. Can I build swordsmen yet? No, I need one more turn. Might as well just build a granary then. Make the city grow a little bit faster. I don't have time to build a barrack. Actually, I don't really have time to build anything in the city. Um, maybe I should just go for a shrine? I don't know. I could go for a barrack. It, it's going to take me 17 turns. That's quite a long time. Maybe I should switch over. No, that's going to cease the city from growing. I don't want that. Alright, I'm just going to... I don't want to touch these barbarians, because they're causing him a lot of trouble. I don't want them to start attacking my scouts instead of him. And they will do that if I move closer, so... That's something to consider. Alright, I can now start producing swordsmen, which is pretty good. Uh, let's grab trapping. We're moving this catapult over here. Once we get the granary, the city should start to grow a little bit quicker. I have some wheat, so... Uh, he wants me to give him gold. I think I'm actually going to accept. That's going to boost my... Uh, that's going to boost my standing with him quite a lot. And 35 gold is not a lot. Sometimes giving the AI help is stupid. But considering he's actually not that highly ranked, um, a trading partner is very good. And he's going to start despising me when I go to war, so... Alright, let's grab... We could grab a point in honor. I actually think that's a good idea. Hmm. Actually, no. I want to complete my tradition tree. So I'm gonna grab uh, aristocracy and I could grab... Uh, next time I will actually complete my entire tree, so... Alright, let's go for swordsman. Oh, hanging garden in eight turns. That is very tempting. But no. Uh, I could grab uh, ivory actually for salt. That could that should give me the, some extra happiness. That will actually help me get my golden age quicker, which would help. All right, I think after trapping, I'm going to rush for construction so I could get uh, composite bowmen. Ah, crap! This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Even brute beat. All right, let's get our scout out of here. Uh, our spearman could go here. Yeah, let's go for construction. We need masonry for that. I was gonna go get the marble. I completely forgot about that. I should go get the marble and incense, really. Yes, yeah, so this city is toast. Absolute toast. I think I will crush that. I don't see any units. He probably doesn't expect a sneak attack. Which is good for me, really. I feel a little bit sorry for him, though. Alright, let's go grab the incense. Mecca will grow in three turns, which is pretty good. Medina will construct a barrack eventually, and it's going to take some time. But it's going to be better once I get some improvements over there. And we have a religion! That's awesome! Okay, first things first, uh, can this scout do anything productive? I could probably see if I could scout over the mountains right here. I discovered a natural wonder, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's grab a religion, we're gonna call it... Mangsism. Okay, do we have tithe? Yes, always grab tithe if it's available. It's the best, uh, it's the best um, uh, founder belief in the game. You get so much gold out of it. it. None of the others can even compare. And then, as a follower belief, 
I would like to either gra get pagodas. I like pagodas a lot. I don't really think there's any better choices right now. No, I think um, I could actually get holy warriors, because I'm getting a lot of faith. Huh, that actually would help my war out a lot. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna go for pagodas. Actually, pagodas is a, this is a really good building. Okay, in four turns we can start upgrading to composite bowmen. Um, I don't know how many units I will need before I'm confident attacking Napoleon. I think at least one more swordsman. This is a pretty strong army I got right now. Let's grab uh, Shock. Yeah, one more swordsman should do it. And then I might actually get started on the Hanging Gardens, just because it's so tempting. Uh, let's grab the Incense. Polynesia is pretty close. I should grab a Bazaar in Medina, so I get an extra copy. Oh, never mind, Napoleon. Ah, Napoleon actually got the Hanging Gardens. Well, that's good, because I intend to take his capital. Oh, I don't want to move in just yet, because that's going to take him off. I think... yeah. Huh, she wants to attack Kamaha. Well, no, I don't want to do that. I, my Kamaha is my friend. What, did he go and expand? Yeah, he, he went and expand right next to Budika. That's probably a really stupid thing to do. The computer doesn't really think all that much now, when it comes to these things. Alright, another swordsman. Let's grab Shock. Do we want... I think I want a composite bowman, actually. Actually, I want another... Nah, I want another composite bowman. Let's let's start work on an archer. That will get turned into a composite bowman when I get the tech for it. And then I could upgrade these guys. Uh, it's gonna be good. I think this should be more than enough to take Orleans. The problem is, will it be enough to take Paris? It's level 9 already. Alright, let's upgrade these guys. Let's move around with the swordsman. For our next tech, we should probably grab currency so we can get a bazaar. That sounds about right. And then I should make sure that all of my units, or at least as many units as possible, are capable of attacking on the first turn. Alright, we got incense. We could probably start working on this wheat. I could grab the marble too, but... I don't really see the point yet. Alright, let's grab the swordsman over there. Let's start to move in. This will probably make him question my motives, and I'm not gonna backstab him. Backstabbing someone is basically when they ask you, if, you, if like they're asking you, are you gonna attack me, and you say no. What happens then is that if you attack them, you're gonna get the backstabber penalty, and that's a huge diplomatic penalty with the other leaders. Yeah, so you need to actually say yes then. That's still going to give me a diplomatic penalty. Actually, it's going to shoot on my catapults, which is not good. That's still going to uh, make give me the warmonger penalty, but at a much like lighter scale, if you will. Okay, so he's coming with some warriors right now. Let's protect our catapults. Let's move forward with our, with our swordsman. Let's start bombarding the city. I think I want to build some more uh, some more composite bowmen. I'm actually a little bit worried about my catapults. I think I want to heal them up, because he might attack them again. If not, I'm going to keep bombarding. And I'm going to just defend with my scouts. They're basically just protecting my own flank. But if warriors is all you have, I'm going to decimate him. Okay, he's attacking my catapults. So I need to retreat. I don't want to lose them. But I have another catapult that I could move in and set up. So... Alright. Looks like I can't go any further over here. Yeah, I'll just... Uh Go back and heal up. I have another... I have some more composite bowmen right here. I think I want to shoot down his warriors, though. 
I'm just gonna keep pumping out uh, bowmen. Alright, do we want to start attacking yet? I don't think so. I'm just gonna fortify for the time being. I want to move these guys over here. I want to protect my archers. Alright, once I start bombarding the city a little bit, I could probably take it really quickly. Because it only has 11 defense strength, which is essentially nothing. I could probably take it this turn if I wanted to. The spearmen are actually taking quite a beating. Alright. Let's see, can we go through here? No, sadly, we can't. Alright. Bombard, bombard, and bombard. And I think that's the end of that city. Mm, I'm, I'll wait one more turn, actually. I'll uh, pull my spearmen back. Protect my catapults. These guys can just fortify up. Do I want to go back to the capital to heal? I think I do. That will go a lot faster. Yeah, he simply does not have the units to respond to this. He only has warriors, which is not enough. So I'm just going to erase Orleans right now. I have 10 happiness, so it shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, sure, I don't mind. Um, there you go. Um, get more boosts with, uh, with Polynesia isn't a bad thing. Alright, he's gonna start to send in some spearmen right now, so I gotta hurry and take his city. I should be able to do it this turn. Alright, so finally we have a... Um, we have uh, the possibility to build bazaars. So, let's retreat back and heal up. Let's bombard the city a little more before we attack it. I should actually be able to take it this turn. Yes, I will. Uh, will that be enough? Yes, it will. Alright, we'll raise the city. We'll just fortify up. Uh, we could make him waste a lot of resources trying to, uh, to attack the city back. And he only has a wounded warrior, which we could kill. I guess I can attack his spearman. It's good experience, if nothing else. I don't want those swordsmen to kill my scouts, though. That would be bad. Alright, I think I'm gonna grab a Bazaar immediately. It's just too good of a building to pass up. And for our next tech, we'll grab Philosophy so we can get that National College up. Do we want open borders with Boudica? Let's see. Maybe she's interested. No, she's not interested. Okay, that's too bad. Alright, let's send the scouts this way, then. There's really nothing more to do here. So, Napoleon is most likely going to attempt to take Orleans back, but he's not going to be able to. Now he's actually retreating. So, I'm going to rest up my forces, and I'm just going to continue the assault. I'm going to... Oh, that is ironic right there. Thank you, barbarians. Very nice of you to help out. Alright, I think that does it for part one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more, then by all means, leave a comment, and uh, feel free to give me advice, and... All that good stuff. I Taking Paris is going to be a little bit more tricky, I think. It has 17 defense strength, and I only have catapults. I think I might need trebuchets for that. We'll have to see. Anyway, my name is Max. I hope you guys enjoy this part, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.